look at this man those eggs look really really good and then these two right here are super crazy too. this is the one we needed for the last lock i said we have a lot of females here that are going to be going early for us including this hypo mandarin hey what's up everyone how's everyone doing today hope everyone's having a great day man i want to apologize for not putting up some videos last week wednesday and this monday we went on this last minute vacation and remember the last video that i had with my friend hector from union pythons that came over well he was talking to us about cozumel uh, in mexico i've never been to cozumel like or even heard of it before so after we're talking we haven't had a vacation in years man i want to say maybe like three or four years so you know we got a hold of some flights and we had this you know um great chance to take advantage of this so we went on the vacation that's why i wasn't able to put any videos up for you guys so i really really apologize but for you guys that follow me on facebook instagram or anything else you guys saw that you know uh, i posted a lot of pictures up there um you know so thank you guys thank you guys very much you know for you know still being a part of this but guys as you can see we have no more freaking eggs no more clutches as when we were on um when we were on a vacation one of the clutches actually had pipped out and it all came out and i was going to show them to you guys but the only problem with that is that they're all like deep and blue when we came in and we saw them, they were like completely, like you can't even tell what they are. Um, we got kind of screwed on the odds on that one as far as visuals, but we did have some powerhouse stuff. The pairing was a spot nose red stripe yellow belly clown to a black pastel red stripe head clown. We didn't hit enough visuals, but I think we had a couple of super red stripe head clown stuff. It's pretty exciting. So yeah, this is completely empty. But the funny thing is, man, as the last clutch went out, check this out, guys. Oh, right here. We got our first clutch of 2022 and look at this man those eggs look really really good now before we pull her out and we start you know going through the eggs and doing a little routine um we actually have some great pairings coming out over here as you can see all our males are out we came on sunday we got here super late but we started doing all these crazy pairings and man we have some cool stuff let me show you guys real real quick some of the stuff is probably still locked some of the stuff's not locked but oh yeah so right here we have a yellow belly double head sunset desert ghost to inchy double head sunset desert ghost and the bottom we have a spot in those double head sunset desert ghost to an inchy double head sunset desert ghost oh they're not locked up no more right here we have a double head uh sunset clown breeding to a sunset clown because we'll see some crazy crazy stuff man like power powerhouse stuff so right here we have an ivory wookie spot nose red stripe head clown breeding to our gotham female which is a leopard coral glow clown and then these two right here are super crazy too. This is the one we needed for the last lock. Oh, they're not locked anymore. But right here we have a spot nose desert ghost breeding to a DG clown. And then right here we have a, oh, they're not locked up anymore either. They were locked up all, you know, from last night. We're filming late at night. But right here we have a black pastel hypo clown head desert ghost breeding to a yellow belly head cryptic. So with that yellow belly desert ghost head cryptic. So we could hit some really, really cool black pastel, yellow belly, desert ghost, krypton, hit hypos. I mean, that'll be some serious, serious firepower. And let me show you guys some couple of other locks too as well. Um, this right here is getting close for their final lock too. Blackhead Leopard Ultramel, uh, breeding to a black pastel pinstripe ultra glow. Then right here is one that I'm really, really excited about. Oop, I'm not gonna want this to move away. Mess up a hemipene. But right there, guys, we had a female lace clown breeding to a redhead spot nose head clown so yeah that's gonna be another cool one but out of 26 pairings we have 23 to lock up so that's pretty good and that's let me three uh, three pairs are the ones that didn't lock so hopefully you know we're gonna start actually some crazy stuff here again like i said we have a lot of females here that are going to be going early for us including this hypo mandarin that's gonna be an awesome one right there. Before we pull this clutch out, guys, and you know, show you our method of how you know we get our um, boxes ready. We haven't done this for quite some time. I want to show you some of the pictures and videos that we did when we went out to the vacation. Um, I can't tell you how relaxing it was, man. I feel freaking energized again, and I want to get back to all this. I have a lot of filming to do, but when we're there. The first thing what we did is that we relaxed. You know, of course, I had a couple of you know, cold ones, but the second way I took the family deep sea fishing, and we caught some barracudas and some red snappers. Here are some pictures and some videos right now. How 
freaking cool, right? Uh, Tina wasn't really fishing or anything. She didn't get to catch a fish, but it's because she got seasick, so you know, kind of was yakking that up a little. Right, Tortoise? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> no, a lot of bit. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. And then the next day, it was one of the coolest freaking things ever, man. This right here has always been something I wanted to do. Um, we went scuba diving, all of us. It was so freaking awesome. Check this out. Crazy, right? Then the other uh, next day after that, we went, you know, swimming with dolphins, and we got to, you know, like do a lot of cool stuff with them. Mandy, I've always wanted to feel how a dolphin feels, but again, here's some more pictures. Yeah, that was super, super crazy, man. Of course, we did some snorkeling and we ate a lot of food, a lot of food, let me tell you, but it was one of the coolest, actually, it was the coolest vacation we've ever had, hands down. I'm really, really excited about it and it's gonna, you know, make me wanna work even harder to, you know, do another vacation like this, hopefully in this year. Right, Turtle? You said yes. Yes, this yeah. year, All right, guys, <laughs> so um, let's pull this out, man. Let's get this clutch ready. I haven't done one of these for a while. I'm actually really excited about it. I hope I remembered. So as you guys know, we use these. Uh, these? They're shoe boxes. Yeah, shoe boxes. And we use easy hatch trays and we need some parallel. Give me one second. You guys have no idea? That was there for a good while. It was stuck in there. <laughs> so as you guys know also, we use Perlite. Um, a lot of people use different stuff. Um, they use Vermiculite or they use a mixture or they use a hatch tray, I believe what it's called. But again, we just use one, two, three. Now you just like put like a little, a little more on top of that right there. So once we get this right about there, like three and a half of the cups, then I get some water and I fill it up all the way to the top. Now, once I fill, once I see the water go all the way to the top of the um, perlite, that's when I know I have a perfect ratio of water to perlite. perlite. <laughs> all right, so that's about right, right there. And this is what we've been doing ever since we started. And we haven't been trying to, you know, fix it in a way because, you know, we have a good, um, what's it called? I'm so tired. <laughs> we have, <laughs> We have a good success rate with this. Yeah. We've got super, no Super, super good. <laughs> All right, so we put this on there and now we have to go grab this girl. This is so cool, man. This female actually, you know, she always is the first girl to go. She actually starts breeding around like November and December. Um, the last babies she had, I held two of them back. I've been showing this guy over and over off just in the last few vlogs, but you can see how big they've got. I mean, he's pretty much, you know, ready to breed almost. And he's less than a year old. Yeah, he's so. pretty popular here. Yep. <laughs> All right, so, gosh, I remember doing this, man. This is the best. All right, let's get started. Let's see. Right there, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. We were just looking at her clutch card too. Last season, she had only six eggs, so she has one more than last time. And then we have to use a red, red clip. clip. There you go, tortoise. Thank you. And again, guys, I am so sorry. I'm super, super tired. It was three hours ahead over there. We were there for like, what, six days. So I'm a little like, just out of it. And then the time changed when we came back, so. And then both know. flights were delayed. So we have some serious jet lag. Yeah. All right, guys. So here we go. And, oh yeah, I forgot to separate them. I am struggling, guys. <laughs> I am super, super struggling. This freaking egg right here looks burnt. Does it look hard boiled? <laughs> no, it just looks like a little, little window right there. So this right here was a pastel cypress, um, just a pastel cypress. It's funny that this female was one of the first females that I actually purchased from Justin Kabelka back in the day. It was one of like, I think it was my second package from ever, you know, getting uh, snakes from him. Okay, so we have a good one right here. And again, for you guys that are new to my channel, you guys know that we look for the embryo, you know, as you can see them on the top right here right there some people usually like to just grab them and then right here you get a good view of it and just put them on there 
we're big on doing it the way we've been, you know, doing it the first time. So all of them seem to have really good veins, man. All right, seven healthy eggs. So I know you guys don't want to see us. gonna put all the information on this, put the saran wrap on there. So we're gonna get this done real quick and then we'll go from there. These are our clutch cards. And Tina does all the writing because her writing is all nicer than mine. So if you guys don't use these, um, I would suggest you guys make your own. They trust me, they help us a lot. It helps with all our records from previous years and we always save them up. We take a picture of them, then we throw them on our computer. So if we have to look anything up, we'll see you know, how much slug she had or you know, stuff like that. This is our first clutch 2022. All right, you guys know how we do it. Jared always puts in, this is our first clutch of 2022. Man, hopefully we break 100 clutches this season. That is the goal. Fingers crossed. Yeah, and as always guys, we appreciate all the support. Until next time, peace. <laughs>